We've had a pause in, in this so-called warming for now 21 years. Depends how you measure it, 21 years. And I'm absolutely stunned that someone who is inspired by Richard Feynman, a fantastic scientist who believes in empirical evidence, is quoting consensus. Can I just say, I, just, I brought the graph, right? I mean, can I just... <laughs> I can give you a lesson graph. if you want. <laughs> I can give you. Can you go back to the middle of the graph there? Yeah. The, the <clears throat> that graph. Yeah, the peak in the middle. Yep. What year is that? That's about 1941. Yeah, 1930s and 40s were warmer than the current decades. What you, where's that, well, no, what's the, the data the, source? Well, not exactly. No, no, the original <laughs> records are. Just one second, you're hearing the interpretation of a, a highly qualified scientist, um, and you're just saying, I don't believe it, is that right? I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying two things. <laughs> First of all, that the data has been corrupted, and we know that the 1930s what do you mean were warmer than corrupted? today. Yeah. Corrupted? What do you mean corrupted? Been manipulated and, by, and, uh, by NASA. NASA. By the CIA, yes. <laughs> the people. Saying, uh, guys, guys, no, no, see, this is quite no, serious. No, I'm... NASA. <laughs> Na NASA. Yes. The people that landed men on the moon. I don't you, you, I, I, I should just ask, actually, you, you believe we landed men on the moon? <laughs> the, the accusation that, that NASA. Pretty the, all the 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 Australian, the, the the Met Office in the UK, everybody is collaborating to manipulate global temperature data. Are you it's, it's me of saying they're collaborating? Well, they all they've all manipulated it in the same way and accidentally got to the same answer.